up everyone? Welcome to the 160th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Smackaderm, so if you enjoy what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Shantae and Shovel Knight. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 160th Round of Fighters. Scuttletown is a small fishing port that is ran by Mayor Scuttlebutt. Except when it comes to securing and protecting his town, he doesn't do a great job enforcing the law from pirates and thieves. Luckily for him, there's a young genie hybrid known as Shantae. Genies have always played a very important role in protecting mankind. However, all of the fool genies ascended to a higher plane of existence after they felt like their job as protectors were no longer necessary. With that in mind, half genies like Shantae didn't really have any other choice but to stay with the humans, making her one of the only options to protect humanity when they need her most. Shantae's signature ability and use of combat is whipping her ponytail. She literally whips her hair back and forth to deal damage on her targets. Her hair is strong enough to block cannonballs, break metal armor, and can bust through thick stone. Shantae is quite skilled at manipulating light magic, which is a type of magic that is used to spell away those who are evil or wielders of dark magic. She conducts her magic usage through her belly dances, which signal different spells and arrays of energy. She can use her magic to transform into various formations of her choice. She can turn into a monkey to easily climb walls, a mermaid to breathe underwater, an elephant to gain strength, a bird to fly, and even a spider to have a mixture of all transformations from wall crawling strength and better aerial control. She also carries an assortment of bombs, healing potions, a pocket pistol, and her trusty blade. Shantae's greatest abilities are her fire manipulation and wish granting. With her fire manipulation, Shantae can produce a spitfire that sends out three fireballs, or for an even stronger attack, she can create a stream of fire which creates a single constant blast. With her wish granting, Shantae was able to wish away the pirate's curse, which saved Scuttletown. However, she herself has stated that because she is half human and that she lacks experience with wish granting, there are many limitations to what exactly she can grant. Speaking of being half human, this definitely sets her back from doing anything she wants like a full genie. She lacks durability as armor isn't really her strong suit and because she is so young, she can be quite easy to fool. Overall, Shantae is a half human half genie hybrid with the ability to manipulate fire and grant wishes. She has the potential to do many powerful things but at the same time she is also very young and naive. Throughout the history of knighthood, there are two important things a knight represents. His vows and his blessed weapon that bestowed him. For the greatest knight to ever live, Shrek. His vows were that ogres were like onions and his primary weapon was his staggering good looks. For King Arthur, it was his vow to place character above riches as he wielded the legendary Excalibur sword. But for Shovel Knight, it was his vow to never give up as his weapon of choice was the Shovel Blade. Shovel Knight's current vows are to never give up, but this wasn't always the case. Back when he was a young rook in knighthood, he fell in love with a woman by the name of Shield Knight. During a paired mission the two were on, Shield Knight was taken by the Enchantress, which got her locked away. Because of this, Shovel Knight blamed himself entirely and dug a grave in his career, no pun intended. However, Shovel Knight re-entered the night game when the Enchantress threatened to take over humanity and started manipulating other knights. As stated, Shovel Knight's primary weapon of choice is of course the Shovel Blade. It's a very self-explanatory tool. It can dig things up like a shovel, and it could cut and deflect things like a blade. Shovel Knight handles it in a very unique way. He can perform aerial digging attacks as if it was purely a shovel, and he can fence it around as if it was purely 
fully a blade. At the peak of his condition, he can perform a drop spark, which is a beam of endure that emits from the thrust of his blade. Shovel Knight also possesses many variations of armor and mail sets. His standard armor can deflect many metallic attacks, and his strongest armors can tank hits from Kratos himself. Like yeah, the actual Kratos. Beyond his shovel, he carries the Flare Wand which can blast fireballs, his Dust Knuckles which are gauntlets that amplify his punches, and his Phase Locket which makes him invisible and intangible towards objects. He is fast enough to run on water and can jump over 50 feet in the air, which definitely needs superhuman strength. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the dude was on par with Kratos in battle? Because that's pretty important to know. Shovel Knight was not only able to keep up with Kratos, but actually defeat him in the heat of a fight. Overall, Shovel Knight is a very powerful and unique knight. He is well equipped with many relics and tools which make him a very dangerous opponent. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place in Scuttletown with no prep. Let the battle begin! And the winner is Shovel Knight, but before we discuss why, I want to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, Smackadurk. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. But now, let's discuss why Shovel Knight is the winner. It's important to know that Shantae and Shovel Knight have many different ways to counter each other, which can really make this debate a toss-up, but there are significant reasons why I believe that Shovel Knight walks away the victor. Once again, the counterability of each character really nullifies pretty much all use of each combatant's arsenal. Shantae can counter Shovel Knight's projectiles with her bubble shield, Shovel Knight can counter Shantae's fire with his armor, Shovel Knight can counter a lot of Shantae's transformations with his phase locket, Shantae can counter Shovel Knight's downward strikes with her healing dances, and this patty cake back and forth game can go on and on for all day long until we reach the X factors of this debate. These X factors being who has the edge in mental and physical dominance. While Shantae can heal herself, her magical dances are infinite and they do take quite some time to put her back into peak condition. Shovel Knight does have some healing methods on his own, but these are way more strict than Shantae's. However, in the same sentence, his armor and greater durability takes care of needing replenishment in the first place. This would give him a physical edge in being able to take more punishment. Secondly, Shovel Knight most certainly has the edge in skill and experience. He is far older and has trained for much longer than Shantae. He's been through much more experiences and adversities which make him better equipped to fight her. 
We can't forget that Shovel Knight was powerful enough to be on par and defeat Kratos in battle. And while Shantae is powerful in her own right, we have never seen her compete with someone at that level of power like Kratos. It's also worth noting that she is very naive, meaning that Shovel Knight can trick her into some dangerous situations which would lead to his victory making the winner of this battle, Shovel Knight. Now if you want to see a 2 on 2 rematch between Shantae and Roddy Tops versus Shovel Knight and Shield Knight, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Plus, don't forget to comment down your own ideas for future episodes, and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm always angry.